Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to take you through how you might use OneNote to embed a model such as gradual release or responsibility. Okay, brilliant. Let's get stuck into it. Now I'm not going to go into the model itself and the theories behind it. I'm just going to show you how I've used OneNote to implement it into my teaching practice. So you can see if you're not familiar with the model itself, it is broken up into four different areas, obviously gradually releasing the responsibility onto the student. So what we, we'll have a look first at the I do focused area. So I'm just going to click here to open this one. And the very first thing we're going to bring to your attention here is just this little infographic that I've just made up. So I've just used something like Word to make this one up here. So the reason I wanted to do this is because I find it really important to color code. So anything here, and we'll see below in a moment, anything that is purple is an I do um, and so on and so forth. So I would consider, I've kind of kept most of these quite short and sweet, and I think that's brilliant as well as part of OneNote is that you don't need to make, you know, massive elaborate OneNote pages for students to complete. They can just be small little exercises like these. So we can see here that we've created this English, English sorry, um, punctuation exercise but it is heavily on an I do focus. So that means I do as the teacher. So I'm going to model these three examples and then we're going to do the last one together as a class. So in regards to the responsibility here for the learning, it is heavily focused around myself as the teacher doing it. And then we're just going to do one together collaboratively as a class. So if we were to move past that and move on to what maybe what a we do um, focus will look like. And this one's a little bit longer. So this is an example of how you might implement it into what might be a, a whole lesson of using OneNote is that we have a poetry example here. And as I move down, we've got these series of questions that we want to answer. Now, just because it's a we do focus doesn't mean that we need to have everything. And if we remember back up the top, we do is yellow, but everything needs to be yellow. There just kind of needs to be a bit of a yellow focus. Certain questions here that we've posed, you know, where it says in your own words, you know, they're obviously going to be green, which means you do alone. Okay. And then you think about the questions. So is this poem fixed first or free verse? Give reasons for your answer. That's a, you know, that might be a really good um, opportunity for students to collaborate with each other, which is the we do um, together. So you do together option. But we can see here that maybe this part here, this clapping out the number of syllables in the poem is new. We haven't done this before with our students. So the focus is starting on the we do. So there are, you know, there are five verses in this poem. So primarily that the first three, we're going to do that together. You're then going to do the fourth verse with uh, the person next to you. And then I want you to do the last one on your own. And you can kind of see how that flows throughout the questions that they are heavily starting in the we do area and then releasing off into the either you do together or you do alone focus. Let's have a look at another simple one. So moving on to the next layer of the model. So the you do um, together. So this one is a mathematics example. So I might have, you know, uh, either written these questions or copied and pasted them from somewhere. We've got 10 questions that we want to do in class because the reason I'm putting them in OneNote is I want to be able to review them and go over them later. But I'm going to get the class started. I'm going to do the very first one. So you can see that the answer here is in purple. Questions two down to three, we're going to do them as a class. Okay, and then I want you to do questions four down to eight. You're going to do them with the, the person next to you. And then the last two, I want you to have a go on your own. But you can see here that the primary focus, and if I just scroll up again, is on the orange. So we've, we've got our you do together here, and our primary focus is on the you do together. So you're going to do the majority of the questions together. Then we have our very last one. So again, another little simple mass 10 question, basic multiplication style. So 
Again, I'm going to model the first one. We're then going to do one together as a class. And then the remaining questions you're going to do on your own. By all means, you, you know, that process doesn't need to go in that flow. You might decide that the entire activity is just literally on your own. So all I've done here is because this has been developed through a text box, is that, I mean, sorry, a table, is that I'm going to just change the shading of that back to green. Maybe I might change my style. We might just do the very first multiplication together and then you're going to do the rest on your own. All right, guys, I hope that you found that useful. If you have any questions, pop them in the comment section. Don't forget these models here that I've done up as examples and the little, the little infographics here at the top, they are all in our OneNote, so make sure you click the link down below to get access to that. Have a good one, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching guys. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you've got any comments, pop them into the comments section. And don't forget that you can click down below to access our OneNote to see all of our ideas. Cheers.